Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I wanted to go ahead and do a very chill, comfortable video. I'm literally wearing my egg pajamas right now, my dippy eggs. Do you call them dippy eggs? Most people don't. I think that's a northern thing. My family's from the north, but I'm not really. Anyways, I don't know why I just went there, but we got the candle going in the background. I've got some hot tea here, wearing pajamas, and I thought it would just be a fun time to try out some new jeweled multi-chromes from Cleona. And when I say new, I mean new to me. I've made multiple orders from the stained glass collection and just never picked the jeweled multichromes up because they were the most expensive. They just didn't appeal to me that much. I prefer lighter duochromes without the black base. But a few months ago, I did a ranking of all the multichrome formulas that I had tried at the time. And you guys were so insistent that I'm absolutely must try the jeweled multichromes. So when they had their recent launch, and it wasn't a pre-order or anything, I went ahead and decided to just pick up two shades to give them a try, see what all the fuss was about, and just see if I like them more than the other multi-chromes I already have. Because the jeweled multi-chromes are, I think, a few dollars more than some of the other brands that I have, and then also adding in the shipping from Canada, I think it's like 15 Canadian dollars. So it's not an outrageous shipping price by any means, but it is something to consider. And then of course, adding in the pre-order time, Normally processing takes a lot longer with Cleona, so we're just gonna try them out, see how I end up feeling, have a little bit of fun with it. I pulled out my DJ's Unique Boutique, the Reason Holiday Palette because I wanted to play with this more. I also really wanted a palette that had some blues in it to go along with the multi-chromes that I picked up. So I'll just go ahead and show you. And actually, if you're not following me on Instagram, I don't normally plug it because it used to be just that I would do like a lot of like showing pictures of palettes and showing like my face, which is fine, I guess. But I recently started doing reels and I'm having a lot of fun with them. So I've been doing like top five single shadows from different brands. And I did a little mini haul of the Cleona shadows that I recently picked up. Showed them swatched out and everything. So if you want more single shadow content or you just want to see like quick videos, feel free to follow me on Instagram. Leave your recommendations in the comments on my reels if there's anything in particular you want to see because I'm having a lot of fun with it. For the longest time I was like, reels? No, like that's a little bit young for me. I was like, back in my day we just posted pictures on Instagram, but I, I succumbed and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So these are the two jeweled multichromes that I picked up and at least on camera you can see the difference a little bit, but they are very, very similar. I really feel like I played myself because just like the price point and just trying to only try two of them, ending up with two that have like the same shifts just in different ways. I don't know, I was kind of annoyed with myself. And then I also went ahead and pulled out some of my shadows from Davina and Terra Moon so we can do some comparison swatches and a little bit of colors that are kind of similar. I'm just so excited to try these on my eyes and just see if I love them, if I need to buy more, hopefully not. So here's Oculus and it's like a teal, blue, purple shade, which I mean the next one is the same. This one is just more of like an indigo kind of purple and then the other one is called Crown Glass. And in this one the blue isn't quite as strong and the purple has a little bit more of a pink undertone. Just based on swatches alone, I feel like if I was going to pick one of these it would probably be Oculus just because it looked a little bit more intense. So there's what that one looks like. I'm gonna pull a mirror out in just a second to see if I can show you the shift a little bit more. And then here is crown glass. Maybe you can see the shifts a little bit more. It's kind of hard to even tell which one is which, but you can see the pink backgrounds. See, you can kind of see it there, but it doesn't want to focus. So because these are so similar, I think I'm going to do the same matte work on each eye and then I'm going to use Oculus on one and Crown Glass on the other. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the shade Winter. I'm using this on a big fluffy brush, which might be a mistake, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw that through my crease. But also, I'm not being too careful right now. Like, it's, it's fine. Like, I'm just playing around, although that actually did do a pretty good job of blending. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Tradition to deepen up the outer V a little bit. Kind of feel like I should bring that through the crease as well, just because the multi-chromes have like that black base. This is a really pretty indigo too. Just building that up a little bit. I think because I have it right in front of me, I'm gonna take the new Nomad Iceland palette and I'm gonna dip into a little bit of Dark Castles. 
just to add even more depth. I just realized I didn't zoom you guys in, so let me do that before I apply the multi-chromes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take crown glass first, and I'm kind of, like, I don't even know, like, if I should use the glitter primer, if I should use my finger, a brush. I don't know what the best result's gonna be, so I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and tap that on the lid. Oop, getting some fallout. Okay. Um... That's really pretty. Wow. I'm kind of shook. The texture is so pretty on that. I know I've got fallout everywhere, but wow. That's beautiful. I, okay. Mm, I'm kind of speechless. I really, really like that. I wish I had like five eyes so I could just compare everything at once. But I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of Oculus now. Ooh. Okay, I feel like I can really see the teal. Like, it, they're looking more different on the eyes than even swatched out, which I'm a little bit surprised at. This is looking a lot more green on this side, and the other side's looking a lot more blue-purple, so I'm pleasantly surprised, and the texture is just so beautiful. Why do I want to go order, like, every shadow they have in this collection? That would be expensive, but wow. I'm kind of like having this moment here because for so long I was like, I don't need them. I don't think they're going to be that different from what I already have. I was wrong. You guys were so right. Thank you for forcing me to buy these. <laughs> and honestly, I really, like I want to compare these to the Divina shadows so much because I haven't had the chance to play with them that much. I'm going to just try something. I'm going to take this shade called Borealis from Divina and I'm going to pop that along my lower lash line. Just so we can like see the textures next to one another and I'm gonna kind of blend it out and like really build it up actually that looks really pretty too I know it's really messy and not quite the same as seeing it on the lid but this does have a really beautiful texture to it as well and then something kind of similar ish is the shade moonwalk from Terra moons so let me do that on the other lower lash line I'm wiping off my pencil brush Pretty similar. Hmm. Hmm. Goodness gracious, this is hard. I'm gonna try and show you the shift a little bit on each eye. I don't even know what to say right now, so let's go ahead and do some comparison swatches. Once again, there's Crown Glass and Oculus from Leona. And then the two shades I pulled out that felt similar from Terra Moons, I have Moonwalk, which is underneath this eye. This one might have a little bit more of like a bright blue in there somewhere. It's not quite the same. I know you guys can't see exactly what I can see, but I feel like the Jeweled Multichromes look even more shifty. And then I have the shade Alter Ego from Terra Moons, which this has been a favorite of mine for a while, but I feel like the more I use it, the more satiny it looks, I don't even know how to explain. Like, do you, I mean, I guess you can kind of see there. Like, when I first started using it, it was super intense, but it almost felt like that was, like, the top layer. I mean, it is really beautiful still, nonetheless, but, like, I'm comparing it. Cleona one's definitely more intense in texture, so, I mean, it could just depend on what you're going for, but I don't know. I'm feeling like I might have a new favorite. And then from Davina, we have the shade Borealis. Just watch that right here. I mean, that one's still really beautiful. And then we have the shade Magnetosphere, which reminded me a little bit more of Crown Glass because it has like a similar kind of pinky purple background. I feel like the Divina ones in texture, like they feel really slick to the touch, like very smooth. And the Cleona ones feel a little bit more like, they feel like a little tiny, tiny bit looser, but not dry in any way not like chunky in any way, but just not as slick as the Divina. So there's what that one looks like. Someone please talk me out of going on the Cleona website right now because I am tempted. I am so tempted. These two just look so good. And I'm like, I do, I, I'm questioning everything. So there's the swatches all up close. Oh, 
Oh, my mirror is dirty, but it's still reflecting light so you can see the shifts a little bit more. They don't even look that pretty on camera, but I'm telling you in person, everything. Like on camera, they look a little bit more muted for some reason with the shifts, but I think they're stunning. So I'm just making this really quick. I'm going to take the shade Lux from Cleona and I'm going to highlight my inner corner and use that as a highlighter. And honestly, the only reason I chose that one is because it's on the outside. So it's easy to get to and know the name, even though it is a really beautiful shadow and I love it, but that was my thought process. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on right here. Look at that. I haven't used this one as a face highlight yet, so we'll see how it goes. Ooh. Okay, that one might be a little bit too sparkly for my personal liking for on the cheekbone. I love the shade Halo on the face, but this one's mm, not my favorite. But on the inner corner, it looks amazing, so it's fine. So for lips, I'm gonna go into one of my most used lip products. It's the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil in the scent Coconut. I have not reached for this in a hot, hot minute, but my lips are super dehydrated, so now feels like a good time. Oh, it doesn't smell good anymore. Oh, did it go bad? I really hope that this video was helpful. You had fun getting to try these shadows with me. I am really, really happy with them. I'm glad I decided to spend the extra money and try them even though I was convinced that I didn't need them, that they weren't any different. I feel like they actually are. So I'm just eating my words, but let me know if you wanna see an updated ranking multi-chrome formula video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.